What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this unique dagger, Nettle Bane. Now the lore behind this dagger is really cool. So we're actually going to start off this video by talking about the backstory of the dagger and then I'll show you guys the quest so you can grab it for yourself. There's actually a really cool bug with this dagger as well, where if you reverse pickpocket it, from an NPC, it will actually change into either a pair of glass gauntlets or an ebony helmet. So if you get this at level one, it's actually the earliest way you can get glass gauntlets or an ebony helmet in the game, which is actually really cool. And I've got a guide in the description as well that explains how to get an ebony armor set, which is just missing the helmet, but with this, you can then get the ebony helmet as well. So it's actually a really cool little bug you guys can take advantage of. According to legend, Nettlebane is the only weapon old enough to cut through the bark of the Elder Gleam tree. Since the tree is older than the existence of metal itself and thus is unharmed by any other weapon. If you didn't know, the Elder Gleam tree is an ancient tree blessed by the goddess Kinnereth, the deity of the heavens. So we can actually start this quest at the very start of the game, just here in Whiterun. All you need to do to start the quest is come over to the, the temple of Kinnereth, just here under Dragonreach. Now this tree that you guys probably walked past in Whiterun is actually called the Gilded Gleam. And it's the daughter of the Elder Gleam tree. And as you guys can see, it looks like it's dying. There are no leaves on it. It looks like it's pretty dead. So this quest is actually about reviving the tree. So let's go inside the temple and start it. So now we need to find Danica, the healer in the temple, who is healing the guards of White Run who have taken arrows to the knee. Sir, why are you in here? You don't have an arrow in your knee. Excuse me for just one moment, guys, but this is an imposter. There we go, okay. Now he's allowed to be here. Let's go and speak to Danica and start this quest. Welcome, child. Tell me about this temple. This is the temple of Kinareth. The Gildegreen outside was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Rum. Disciples of Kinareth could sense something holy in it and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. What a beautiful story. So what's so special about this tree then? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. There's a lot of lore about trees in the Elder Scrolls, isn't there? Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal map. Okay, so where is this tree? If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about a weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get a Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Ah, Orphan's Rock. Okay, so we've started the what Blessing of Nature. A really cool quest, actually, to do with the lore of Skyrim. Oh my goodness! She's healing her with magical powers! Sickly farmer. Wow, that was epic. And then she's just like, swag, after she's done, walks away like nothing happened there. I'm fighting your side. Tomorrow, baby Battleborn. I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. Jesus Christ, this girl- wait, wait a second. What the hell has happened to this child? It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Uh, okay. So White Run is here, and directly south, yet yeah, just here, we're gonna find Orphan's Rock. There's actually a path from Riverwood if you go to South Skybound Watch. It takes you to North Skybound Watch, and then you can go over to Orphan's Rock. So let's start from North Skybound Watch and kill the bandits there. So here we are at the bandits camp. I just want to quickly 
stealth attack this bandit right here. She has no idea. She's about to get headshot. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look at this. Oh! Right in the... S oh my god, I got her in the arm. There's another guy just there, or a girl. Booty shot! Get oh my god, is she dead? She is dead. Who's this guy? Look at him. That ward will not protect you. Oh wait, I missed. Oh, hello there. He spotted me. Get wrecked, son. Oh my god, look, this arrow went straight through his head. Jesus, Lydia, that was savage. I'm on expert difficulty, that's not that bad. I'm surprised that they died so quickly to my awesomeness. So Orphan's Rock is just down here. And you can actually see the Hag Raven's Nest on top of this rock here. I wonder if we can assassinate them from a from a distance. Can't actually see where they are though, guys, can you? Is that Hag Raven? That is not Hag. Oh, okay, now I can see the red dot. There's someone down there though. I can see some sparks. What is that? I want to get an epic kill cam. What is this? What is going on? What? What is that? Is this skeleton? What the hell? Definitely some kind of witchcraft going on here. Let's take out this guy right here. Oh, get wrecked. Where's my kill cam? Oh my god, we're just deleting everyone from miles away. Okay, let's go closer and actually get some action here, guys. Look out, a flying skeleton. Get wrecked. What is this? Why is this happening? This is so retarded. <laughs> what is that? Can I search it? I really want to search it. Oh my god, you can search it. <gasps> One possessed, bewitched... Septum. Oh my god, it's... Okay, okay, are you done? Oh my god, I took the septum out of its body and it just stopped being possessed. That is so creepy. Okay, so we killed someone around here. I don't know where the body is. Somewhere. Okay, here's the body. Or one of the bodies, at least. Uh, excuse me. Search hag. There is a heavy... Leather backpack. I think this is actually another mod. You can also download this creation club mod right here on my back. Uh, I don't think it's amazing, but if you guys want to see my review of the creation club content, I'll link it down below in the description. There's a playlist with some stuff in. Oh yes, an adept leveled lock. My favorite. Oh, damn it. Okay, second time. Here we go. Easy, easy. There you go. Totally... Got that first try. Okay, flesh of my flesh. That sounds very kinky. I'll definitely be leaving that there. Another skeleton. Hello. He's actually waving at us, Lydia. Oh, I can see someone else, Lydia. Come on, we've got to get the sneak attack. Ah, I think I missed them. Damn it. Can't actually see where they went, to be honest. We're meant to be getting up this rock. Oh, Lydia, what the hell? Is Lydia being attacked? Oh my god! Jesus Christ, Lydia! That's a Oh my god! How is this not hitting me? It's the most blinding fireball ever! Jesus, how is Lydia still alive? I would want to see Lydia just take on this Hagrid. We're not going to sneak attack her. That doesn't do a lot of damage, does it? Oh, one sec, there's an ice mage behind her. Oh god! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Get away from me. How is she on such little health? Where's the ice mage? I really don't want to get hit by one of these icicles because it's going to kill me. Ah, oh, there she is. Get wrecked, hag. They're really weak, but they do a lot of... Oh, this... Really? I can't fire it past this post. Okay, thanks, Lydia. Take Elven Arrow, thank you. These Elven Arrows are super powerful. Especially when you do sneak attacks and the damage stacks with the Ebony Bow. Harvest Mountain Flowers while Lydia's being burnt alive. Oh my god. Stop it, Hag Raven. 
Okay, that wasn't that bad, actually. Jesus, I just can't see where I'm firing my arrows. Luckily, there's a conveniently placed log here. Oh! Okay. Uh, my Khajiit fur is on fire. I don't like this at all. Let's bait out the fireball. Man, she's hiding behind a rock. The crafty devil. Oh, I hit her in the arm. Get wrecked, son. Ha! Oh! Defeated. Not too shabby at all, Lydia. Look at this Spriggan skull. Looks so cool, man. I love that. Well done, Lydia. Can you move out of my way, please? Oh, I love this. Now, I don't think this area actually exists before you come here. There are no hag ravens until you start the quest. I believe, anyway. I don't think there's a way up here. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so... Hay pile, a chest with ten glass arrows. Really? Nice. That is good. Death bell. Oh, my God. Hagraven claw. Where is it? There it is. Awesome. And Hagraven feathers. Also very good for enchanting. You can actually make um, jewelry out of some of these Hagraven-like parts if you guys want to do like a roleplay build. I'll leave a guide in the description on how to do that. Um... Here's the Hag Raven who has Nettle Bane. Check it out, man. It looks absolutely awesome. Look at that, man. That's so cool. But it only has a base damage of six. So it's really one of those awesome looking collector items. We're done here. We need to travel back to Whiterun to turn in this quest to... What was her name? Danica? Danica. <laughs> Still trying to heal this poor... Guard of what? Oh, what happened? He's. You've healed him! Something? He's come back to life! What has happened to the Gilder Green? I have traveled long oh. to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it. Oh, what happened? Wounded from the war. Difficult times. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. So, I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. My head feels like a but this is supposed to be I've your work. She's angry. He's angry. What's happened to the Gilder Green is a travesty. I found Nettlebane for you. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course, I'm glad you did. Now... I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Really? You didn't expect me to come back? She doesn't seem pleased at all that I've returned. What needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. Okay. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Oh dear. There's definitely a catch. Am I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Yes, I did. Can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. Now, now, my friend. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome to join me. I thank you for your kindness. You don't seem- Oh my god, okay. Okay, this guy drunk. You don't seem creepy at all, my friend. Let's go to the Elder Green. So it is to the east in the marshes. Elder Green Sanctuary, or well, the springs. Let's fast travel over here. Hey. Look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. Yes, Lydia. Look, a cave. Amazing. I've heard the Thelmer have considerable funds and are looking to Let's go inside. The, the Elder Grim Sanctuary. What may we find? Come, everybody, follow me into the depths of this dark, dark, dark cave. Oh, somebody's lit some candles for us. How, how thankful I am. More candles. Definitely been someone here before then. I don't think there are any enemies in here. I recall that there are not, anyway. Maybe some Spriggan. That's exactly what I expect to find, anyway. Oh, look, there's just... Oh, Jesus, who's... Why is he... Okay, calm down. There's actually people here. Okay. Hello there, friend. You come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary, as I have? Truly remarkable, isn't it? 
Why are you sitting down like this? This is awkward. I can't talk to you like this. Welcome to Elder Gleam Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, speak to Astra. Astra. Okay. Is this her? Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. Oh, such beauty. What is this place? You are in Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinnereth has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? Amazing. And that tree? Is that the Elder Gleam? This one here? Just here? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why not? As you can see, Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. Nettlebane. This weapon shows Nettlebane. The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. <sighs> okay. And then she just walks away, she doesn't actually care. You don't know what you're dealing with. There will be consequences if you harm that tree. Leave this place. You're not welcome here anymore. Oh, okay. Just sits on the grass, like, just sits there in a strop. So where is the... Uh, oh my god, a flying tree. How mysterious. Wow, it's, it's completely dead. It's just flying. It refuses to die. It's possessed. Like the skeleton we found earlier. This looked absolutely awesome. I love this quest. It's so cool. I mean, can you just refuse to get the Elder Green sap? I mean, we're trying to save your daughter tree, so we kind of need to do this. Let's get out Nettlebane. Let's ask, what do you think of this? I can almost hear I can almost hear its heart. Sounds a bit cre- Oh! Oh! Magical. Okay. This is cool. I love that they animated this and everything. Yes. Get away from me. Fear my dagger. I mean, we could have- I no idea you were a man of violence. What exactly are your intentions in this blessed place? I need the sap to fix the Glindergreen. You would violate this marvel of Kinnereth's glory to fix that half-breed stump in Whiterun? That's abominable. Barbaric. I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? Did you want to let me talk to you? Stand aside. I have work to do. Do you have a better idea? Well, yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. Uh, well, okay, what do you have in mind? Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. Okay, luckily we have brought a tree hugger along with us to help. Oh, God! The grass just disappeared. I think the tree is angry. He's flying. <gasps> okay. Jesus. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. Wow. You should take it to Whiterun. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal, not a slavish maintenance. What will you do now? I believe I'll stay here and bask in Elder Gleam's warmth a bit longer. Good okay. luck on your travels. May Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. I mean, I think it's a bit weird how the, uh, the priestess of Kinnereth was like... No, you must harm the tree to get its sap. And then everyone here says that's outrageous and we shouldn't do that. So I think this was the best course of action. I know from what I did last time, if you actually decide to take the sap from the tree, then the tree or Kinnerath will summon Spriggins and they will kill everyone in the sanctuary, including yourself if you don't stop them. So I think this is the best way to do it from an actual worshipper of Kinnerath's approach. Elder Green Sapling. Pull this out of the ground. Return to Danica. I don't know what's going on with the grass here. It's a little bit trippy. I think we've got a bit high on something that this tree was giving off. Before we go though, make sure you grab these two secret hidden chests. One of them is a boss chest. It's right behind the Elder Green, just hidden by the roots here. This is my chest. Can we actually... One sec. Can I get over this? Maybe. Oh my god, you can only get this chest with Nettlebane. That's really cool, I like that. 
Gold necklace poison resistance glass mace. Really good loot in there as well, man. Pretty cool how they locked the boss chest. Just over there, there's another chest. You can kind of see it. Let me just hop down here and I'll show you guys how to grab it. Dun, 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 dun. Just hop up here. There is a miner. Need something. I didn't know he was going to be mining here. Anyway, let's open this chest. Amethyst, 35 gold. Pretty soul gem and a circular. I think this is just a normal level chest. The boss chest is going to be much better for you guys. So as you guys can see, Nettlebane does 6 damage. Does 10 because we have a one-handed skill of 100. And if we do a sneak attack, it'll do times 15. So that's 150 damage. Get wrecked! So it is pretty good as a sneak attack weapon. But, um, you know, you don't have to use it as that. There's no point in us really leaving these worshippers alive because they have no real importance unless you're just a nice guy. Sadly, I am not a nice guy, so I've killed them all. I always like that um, they leave little kind of signs like these candles, for example, at the entrance or even just a lantern at the start of a cave that might be still burning or even gone out. And it just suggests that this cave has been explored by someone it might still have human inhabitants. Before you've even got to the bottom of the cave, you already sort of know that. And the game design tells you that that's the case before you even get there. I think that's a really good game design. So let's fast travel back to Whiterun and finish off this quest and see what reward we're going to get. Damn it. Oh, okay. Oh my god. She's still trying to bring this guard of Whiterun back to life. She's so intense, she's actually like standing across the room from them. Oh, she's failed. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? We should have a drink at the Bannered Mare. Priestess. I've got the sapling. But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gildergree. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? You're kidding, right? This lady, for someone who owns the temple of Kinnerath, she has no idea about Kinnerath. Maurice said that the renewal is more important than maintenance. That's not really my problem. <laughs> I, you're right, of course. I can almost see it can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new gilded green that will tower over White Rock. Thank you. She's so ungrateful, isn't it? Completed the blessing of nature. So now we can get her to train us in restoration. I'd gladly share my knowledge with you. Uh, which is useless to me, but you guys can get her training. And this is actually one of the master level trainers. So if you get to like level 90 or 95 restoration and you just want those last few skill points, you can very easily pay her to teach you. It only costs 410 gold. So there you have it guys, now you have the unique weapon Nettlebane. It's no longer a quest item, so you can put it on a shelf somewhere and admire its absolute beauty. It's one of the few unique weapons in the game, actually, that's completely unique. It's got a unique appearance, story, lore, and everything. It's pretty awesome. Look, these peasants are praying to us now because we have it in our possession. Lydia, get on your knees. If you want to check out the other unique items you can get in the game, in fact, we've pretty much covered every single item in the game now, check out the link in the description below. It takes you to a whole playlist where you can find all the unique items. I've also done one on secret locations as well that's really cool. If you like locations like the Elder Groom Cave and stuff like that. If you want early access to my videos up to two weeks before they come out, check out my Patreon. It's linked at the top of the description there. If not, just subscribe and press the bell icon and then YouTube will notify you as soon as my videos are available to the public. Thank you very much for watching me ESO and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.